Hello guys, we're back with another video where we eat MREs. This time it's Polish. So, if we go straight into it, the first one is going to be Hungarian style goulash and pork luncheon meat. And the second one is going to be meat with buckwheat grouts and Tyrolean luncheon meat. So we're going to open up both of them and we're gonna test them see how good or how bad they are so we're gonna open one of, of these rations and let's check what's inside oh i already can see there is some canned food so here we have uh, lots of everything salt uh, candy Another kind of candy. Bar? Zip bag. Oh no, that's gum. Oh yeah, it's gum. Mint gum. gum. And uh, moisture napkin, I guess. Yeah, both toilet, napkins. Yeah, toilet. Dry one and wet one. Yeah, toilet paper also included. So yeah. Oh, these bags are quite huge. Oh, zip bag. Yeah. No, I wasn't so what, what is it used for specifically? For your small iPhone <laughs> when it's raining outside <laughs> or your socks. Well, what is really good that toilet paper have uh, an additional uh, sea ceiling bag. So it's, it's There's not much of it though. Yeah. Not sure if I would be able to... Uh, if it would be enough for me for one use. Well, you get uh, such three rations per day, so I guess... Oh yeah, it adds up. <laughs> it will be... Okay, let's start from a small. Oh, that's a candy bar or yeah, energy it's, bar? It's, it's, uh, oh, it's in Polish. Uh, yeah. Fruit and cereal bar. Okay. Fruit and cereal bar. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, uh, the famous the, these cookies. Uh, crackers that crackers, can be yeah. bitten. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll test it, but I, I, I already think it's gonna be one of those. Oh, ones. this a straw. One. A straw, it's plastic straw. No, not environmentally friendly. Yeah, these days you can rarely see a plastic one. Plastic Just, spoon. Uh, yeah, plastic spoon with a napkin. And here we come with a uh, main, main dish. Course. Yeah, main dish. It's uh, the, the main dish, which yeah, was you can check on the uh, bag. meat with uh, buckwheat grouts. And tyrol. Yeah, tyrol lunch on meat. Yeah. But Tyrol, guess, Tyrol is, Tyrolean. Is, is this one, I guess. Tyrolean. Yeah, Konchera by Tyrolska, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Tyrolean is basically Austrian or originated in Austria or something like that. According to Google, that is. Yeah. Well, so like Austrian dish, I guess. Google Almighty. As we said, this. You should, you should probably also give us a lesson about Austria right now, like a short history of Austria. I don't know. Such, such, just such, history, such history, well. Well, you should. Not very much, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, this uh, heating unit, uh, speedy hot single at port. Well, we will check how it works outside. Is it different from what yeah. we've tried on American and Lithuanian ones, or is it the same? It's the same, oh. probably, right? Yeah, it's the same. Same. Yeah, it's the same, same. concept. And what is that? There we have a uh, mm -hmm. hydrotonic drink. Yes, it's it's a drink. I don't know. Not really sure what that is, but I assume it's like. I guess you need to pour a water inside, or put that in a bottle of water and just mix everything. I guess. Uh, we'll see. We will try. Yeah. What is that? Vitamin C drink? No. Next is um, fruit mix. I guess. Vitamin C. Uh, no. Yeah, it might be a fruit. Uh, well, uh, Fruit mix? Yeah, fruit mix inside. It's, or maybe, well, we will we'll open that in any case. Oh, so you think it's like fruits? Dried fruit or something? I guess. Ananas. Oh. And there's mm -hmm. uh, another banana. Yeah. Uh, uh, strawberries. Um, so kind of apple, like snacks. Apple. Kind of like snacks. Yeah. Fruity yeah. snacks. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, okay. so that's it for this one. Yeah. And now we can uh, open the next one. 
Next one. Uh, yeah, this one is uh, with a Hungarian style goulash inside. So let's open this up. Seems almost the same. Yes, almost the same. So yes, here inside everything is the same. Yep, exactly the same pretty much. And this salt. Uh... So yeah, everything is basically the same. Like um, uh, check if the fruity drink is or not drink, but fruity mix is there. Oh, here we have a, a honey, oh. which wasn't in a previous uh, yeah. ration. Uh, this one, this one, okay. It's 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 not. So this uh, one goes on the cracker, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Too. If you can even bite it, at least. Yeah, the heating unit. Uh, Fruit mix. Once again. I'm not sure. This time, concentrated napa instant drink, isn't it? No, it's lime flavored instant drink, uh, concentrated with uh, green tea. Uh, huh. That's what it okay. is. Okay, that's different. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Uh, Here we have a uh, main dish. Uh, yeah, the meat. Yeah, the and meat then and... Same thing almost. Well, kind of. Yeah. Question is, do you need to heat both of them or not? For this one, that's for sure. It's need, it needs to be heated. But this, I don't know. Because it's... Well, it's... Metal. Well, yeah. From all sides, it's metal, and there's, uh, as you know, sometimes there's a risk for canned food to explode on a fire on a heat if not opened. So, I don't know, I guess we'll try to see how to act. With you this know food. what I'm missing though? I'm missing coffee. No coffee. Yes, yes. That's weird. Good point, good point. How come there's no coffee? I mean, I there's can't live without at coffee. At least a green tea. But not in every uh, ration, but yeah, there's no coffee, so... I guess we got unlucky with the variations of these MREs that have no coffee in them. Yes, it's only a hope that uh, there is uh, coffee in other variants, yeah. Yeah, maybe some other rations do have them. So, we are outside, and we're gonna make, prepare the dishes, luncheons. We're gonna heat them up. Yeah. And we're gonna the principle well the actions are almost the same for as for every heating unit heating unit of these days it uh, needs to pour a water inside and uh, have this box inside here yeah. here is uh, maximum water line well it's written in very small uh, letters letters yeah it's 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 hard to see but how many there is needed oh Polish holy cow um a little bit more you know when you're making a Polish MRE you have to also become a little bit more Polish so every time you spill something or something happens you need to say oh kurwa yeah good good note okay I'll keep that yeah It's yeah, I just need to check if all back is moisture because that's is very important. Yeah, if the stripes don't get any water, they won't start up, the heating okay. process won't start up. You can hear a uh, chemical action inside. Yeah. Yep. It's already boiling, so I can so I guess close you it up and leave a small... Put it in the ca carton maybe, no? Oh, it's heating very good. Can oh. you put it in the carton now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, because you need to leave some space to yeah. all yeah. gases to go out. I guess it's, it's good enough. Yeah, yeah. Enough. okay. So leave that one, prepare the next one. At least we won't uh, have cold food like with American MREs. Yeah. That's for sure. Well, uh, these dishes... Uh, as you see, it's a little bit different from uh, American and Lithuanian because it have a uh, all bowl, let's say bowl, uh, as a unit as, as 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 as. So you can as, technically as, eat it from it. Yeah, you so you can any, easily like... put a heating unit underneath it. So it's a little bit different than. Oh yeah, true, true. So close. Oh, you can see how it's boiling good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Damn, these heating units are really good. 
working well. Working and, like a charm. Yeah, and I guess we can try to heat up uh, some canned food. Yeah. And just to take a look uh, what's inside and how that looks. Yeah. So I'll take and unpack my good old trusty thing that no one won yet. I call that. And since we didn't reach 2,000 subscri subscribers, <laughs> no one won it yet. <laughs> I wonder how many videos we'll have to make until, until I don't know, we actually do a giveaway for this, even though we can't really do it, but let's say we could. Maybe. It's a handy multi-tool. Yeah. Very handy. A little pst, and it's sorted. So, any more chicken stories? No way. I think uh, I could can tell some stories about uh, wild rabbits, uh, but um, I guess it was enough with the chicken in the last time. People were shocked enough. Oh my God! Especially Peter. Yeah. Peter? Peter Pan? No, 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 that, uh, that activist of... Peter of, Parker? Of, 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 you know, that activist of... Uh, about yeah, Peter us. Parker is an activist. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he, he, uh, he's active against the crime. <laughs> so, let's open it up and take a look. Yes, well, inside. let's see what's inside. Mm. Oh, mm. lots of meat. Shonka. Yeah. I just... I guess open the other one first, too. I don't remember same. which is which. Well, yeah. I mean, they're a little but, bit different, but they also look kind of yeah. same. I guess it's only a question about the flavor inside. Yeah. Oh, I guess there's too much for it. Too much flames and... Uh, How are you going to pick it up though later? When uh, it's well, uh, there are two options. The first option is to have a special tool designed to put that uh, on, a, on a corner of the can, uh, can, can oh, and heating up real quick. Take it. Other Second option is, is, is to leave a lid a little bit on it. To, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's and good. third option is use your foot, kick it. Yeah, or use your <laughs> or use your fingers and have uh, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess it's, yeah, it's... I guess you need to stir it with something. I guess it's, it's yeah. Uh, of course, the can is very small and the flames are very high. And uh, I'll lower it a bit. And there's uh, a lot of oil inside. Yeah, the oil is gonna boil and then there's nothing left. Okay. Oh my god, it's really quick. Mm -hmm. It's almost instant. We don't want it to evaporate though because. Mm -hmm. I think now it's okay. Yeah, yeah, it should be okay. I, I think we have to be quick though. We don't yeah, want the uh, snow to. Another like, thing, I guess we sh should uh, cut it a little bit. Uh, bad is I didn't take a spoon or knife from the ration. I will try to do. You know because. Yeah. Outside, I guess, will be hot enough, but inside will yep. be... Just like in a microwave. Yeah, yeah. You have to stir it. Mm, it's hard to do that. Is it like... Oh! One is lost. Well, not for me. You need to survive, you need to save every bit of food. No. Yep, you nothing cannot, goes to waste. You cannot waste any, anything, yeah. Mm, I can actually smell it, it smells really nice. I would say that uh, about the three minutes because the really? can, can is very small. And uh, because there is not so much space around, it's hard to 
to spread all the meat around to to heat yeah. all all meat. It, it seems so peaceful and calm. Yeah, uh, but I am still hungry. Once you eat up, you'll be able to come back here outside, lay down in a uh, snow, and just and sleep. Take, take a nap. Yeah, take a nap, wake up without Oversleep limb. Oversleep it. <laughs> the smell is so nice that I actually, I want to eat. It feels, it smells like it should, you know, outdoors, you know. Yeah, like proper food. It's, it's some, something special about uh, cooking a food and outdoors and, and woods. But yeah, guys, so here we are. We are back inside. Now we're going to test the food and see how good it is. Or how bad it is. Hopefully it's good though. I can't tell which is which. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it's mixed up now. Yeah. It, it napkin. smells... Napkin is very handy. Mmm, yeah. it smells real nice. Oh, there's a... Uh, um, I guess you got burritos or something like that. Show it. Tomatoes? But don't, yeah, yeah, but don't uh, spill it. No. That it smells really good. It smells mm. really good. Oh my god! It actually smells so good. There's so we can like test each other's. Oh, there's uh, some corns, some uh, some Show peas, it. yeah. Uh, pork, I guess. Yeah, there's more vegetables than than in in scorpion. Okay, okay, let's let's try it. Let's try one. Let's try the other one. Hmm. I guess it's a uh, beef. Hmm? Yeah, the meat is not hmm. not um, too soft, so it takes a while to, to you know to chew it. But the taste is really good. I like paprika inside. Yeah, paprika actually gives the like. A special taste you know like it, yeah. it makes it feel much much even better than it already is I'll, I'll just grab another bite because I want to try it again I like beef for this occasion yeah I guess the only thing I would like was if the meat was a little bit softer easier to uh, chew well, it's not yeah, a problem yeah because uh, they, they, they could add uh, uh, tooth uh, stick inside. Toothpick, yeah. Toothpick, toothpick yeah. Yeah. In, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. Like if it <laughs> gets in, in, in your teeth, in between your teeth, yeah, you're probably going to have to look for like a piece of wood out somewhere in the forest. <laughs> and like, you know. Yeah. This doesn't look hot though, the other dish. Yeah. It looks pretty cold and... Um, is it? I don't know. Maybe not. No, it's not. It's okay. Okay. Honestly, this this is pork, I think, right? Yes, yes, I think. So this feels more bland. Mm -hmm. Taste is not as salty like this one, the paprika. This one is actually much tastier, but this one is also softer to chew and eat. That's why they put a pepper back. Mm. Every, yeah, put some pepper. Yeah, in every dish. So. It's special for this moment. Ah, oh, now we need to spread it somehow. Yeah, this this dish actually does need some. Extra. Also, there is still uh, some salt if you need. Uh, yeah, but, let's uh, try it with pepper and see how how good it it is. I'm not very uh, salt. Not yeah, very salty. I don't like a salt. You don't food. like to be salty. Nope, salty. Mm. It's actually not bad. If if we put the oh, pepper than. on top of it right away, and if we didn't try the the beef, I think with um, paprika, this would have been really good too. Like it's actually good. I'm not saying it's bad, but um, but when you try this one first, and then you go for for the pork. Um, it kind of feels or tastes bland, but like if I if I started if I had only one meal, 
and I had to eat it, yeah, that would be perfect. So I'd say very tasty. Like, I like it. I like it. What I really like about um, this uh, Poland-made uh, dish is that uh, the main dish have uh, is made it have a bowl. It's very practical, you know. Yeah, like a because, plate. Uh, MRA of uh, American and uh, Lithuania that have uh, just uh, uh, some kind of bag, and um, that's okay. It's takes it takes less space, but. Uh, it's very easy to, 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 to eat. It's, it's, it's more practical. Pra yeah, practical. It's more practical this way. Oh, actually, we didn't try the Tushanka yet. Maybe yeah, we should try that too while it's still warm. I guess it will be a simple meat, no? Mmm. Mmm. But delicious meat. I like that. Pure meat. Let's see if it's different. It's not bad, but I don't know if you can eat it only like raw. Maybe we you need some crackers with this. Mm. Or maybe it's some kind of appetizer, you know. Different. They're different. Different. Yeah. This, this one is actually, holy shit. This one's really good. Mm. This one was like, okay, but this one's actually, what is it though? It's really nice. I can't tell the difference. Okay. <laughs> okay, try this one now and see if you can feel it now. Because there is a difference. There's like an aftertaste or something. Yeah, I can tell. Mm, something's not good for me. But I, 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 I can't tell a difference. I mean, mm. my taste, uh, the taste receptors are not working, I guess, or something. <laughs> I mean, they're they're very, very close in taste. But like this one, I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest, but... This one kind of has like a little bit of an aftertaste, but maybe it was just cooked a little bit different. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's what I'm picking up. Maybe they're actually the same. I'm just like, I don't think I can eat those crackers like last time I've tried them because they're they're the same ones, right? That go yeah, to yeah, Lithuanian ones. Yeah. So in Lithuanian MREs, you, they, you always get these crackers and they're impossible to buy. Like if you want to, if you want to visit your dentist in the near future eat these yeah and, and another occasion is very uh, very important to have these crackers for one occasion if you are camping someone and you would not like to have some interruptions from your uh, inside system to take a pee or something just eat a whole bag before camping and you will not require uh, any pee to do <laughs> <laughs> you can eat it, it will make you constipated. Move, yeah. You will be constipated if you eat these. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> mm. yeah. Very tasty. You know what? I would put extra in my dish. Some uh, canned peas, I guess. Or, or beans. Or canned corns. Just like that small 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 can that will be perfect because there's now it it, it feels like there's too much meat here in it. Uh, too much salt and you know what i'm missing right now like a lot a coffee drink oh <laughs> that would go so well with this but salty food like this yeah. it's not too salty though compared to the american ones we ate this is not even close to, mm. the, to the saltiness level it's closer to the union, I guess. yeah it's it's it feels filling and it's not too salty or too, you know, whatever, sweet. I don't know what it is about MREs, but technically this is regular food when you think about it, like that you can prepare at home. Yeah. But when you eat it, especially if you're hungry, especially if you spend some time outside, my God, like it's the best food. <laughs> yeah, the best is when you can mix some some, uh, some rations, especially mix with... Uh, Poland made or another country's made because even if you have uh, the, the same country made uh, rations uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, 10 or more warrants parents, you know, but it's still um, after a week it, it's, it's in your yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know. So just to eat Lithuania or Poland and then go to American one and then go to Poland like this one it would be perfect 
and this is why um, usually soldiers like NATO soldiers they exchange exchange of course of yeah course. they exchange it always always yeah because American ones is uh, as I remember correctly there's more um, more like uh, cocktails and and and, and uh, that uh, skittles some kind of that uh, uh, such kind of food you know N not a food but uh, candy Sweet. sweets sweets yeah and uh, it's also important in that in in, in in woods to have some sweets some 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 drinks that you usually wouldn't have in the woods like a mil milkshake you no know? something like that it's good to have it's it. good for energy and it's also good for morale yeah yeah i really like the the packaging really handy it's easy yeah easy to hold mm. very ergonomic you know aerodynamic aerodynamic <laughs> i don't think people who make mre videos eat the whole thing like right away no, they I probably guess taste no. everything and then finish up yeah. but we are doing it differently yeah all night we wasn't eating just for this special moment <laughs> <laughs> it would be a good combo to mix up you know something salty with something less salty but these crackers are almost impossible to bite <laughs> but i'm gonna attempt a little bit i can't imagine why poland polish are still doing this this Crackers. I thought I heard that they stopped doing it. I mm, thought they. Stopped, huh? No, I thought they. I heard that in new MREs, it's not as bad. I okay. mean, actually, it's. What is the what kind of passion is to keep uh, producing? Uh, oh, there is years, seventeen sixty-five. Okay, I guess there is some kind of history with that. <laughs> or maybe, no. or maybe that's a scheme. You know. They make their soldiers break their teeth <laughs> so that dentists have more business. No, every soldier will will not eat these. Will keep in the camping area these for enemy to break the teeth. You know. <laughs> so are you trying to say that Polish prepared to be taken over by the enemy? So they prepare the MREs not for their soldiers but for the enemies? Oh no, the all MREs for soldier, but uh, there's. Only one unit left for as as as, as, as a surprise for him. Mm. Element of surprise, mm. huh? yeah. like a secret weapon. Later, we, we should try that um, green tea. Yeah, we can pour it. <laughs> oh, so there is also zip inside. It's very handy, and the substance is some kind of uh, like a grain. Yeah, let me let me, uh, let me show it mm. the camera. I think it's enough. <clears throat> we need to stir it with something. That's why here is a straw. <laughs> oh, you smart boy! Smart. And it's plastic, not a paper one, which will be vaporized in something. Poultry. Yeah, some baby seals are gonna choke on it. Yeah, yeah, especially ba every baby. Sp yeah, now we'll destroy all the nature. We are the enemies, and only one straw will do everything. <laughs> we'll destroy everything. <laughs> you know, it's not about one not, straw. Though. Not the China, you know. <laughs> not the China. Only one straw, and especially for me. I'm the bad guy. Yeah. I'm actually full. Although my can is kind of like. There's still some left if you can see it from there. I'm trying. Uh, this cracker, it's hard to bite, but at, at least it's a little bit more manageable than the last time I tried it, but it's it's still not great. It's still not great. I see you keep trying to mix uh, meat with a cracker, yeah. Because for me, it's just... Yeah, it's not the meat inside, mix everything. Yeah, it goes. No. Um, meat isn't super salty, but if you eat it alone, it gets a little bit salty so cracker actually tones down the saltiness and then it's kind of perfect it's almost like putting meat on a you know piece of bread like a sandwich kind of i just wish polish actually had not these crackers but they had something um that americans do like uh, that like big cracker that oh. that is soft and you know yeah uh, really easy to bite on 
fruit and cereal bar apricot flavor okay i think it's called power bar if that will charge my batteries and my laptop that will be okay i guess will laptop hmm? in your laptop yeah you know power are bar. you a laptop The human is some kind of biological machine. Yes, yeah. that's true. But like, <laughs> why specifically laptop? You know, like laptops. Okay, my phone. What's the difference? <laughs> I would have went for supercomputer, not laptop. <laughs> that actually looks pretty good, though. It that's that white, white kind of. Uh, um, it's to hold it, I guess. No, but it's it's eatable. eatable yeah. yeah, yeah, it is eatable. You can okay. show it to the camera. Because there's not uh, some kind of paper that you need to take it off. Before heat, you know, like uh, there is uh, like some kinds of sometimes uh, croissant in a uh, plastic uh, in, uh, in that. Uh, yeah, that that's also go. That also goes to the baby seal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, say good night to the bad guy because I will eat everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> sweet. It's not too sweet. The the drink. Okay. What was it called? Uh, so that was a. Uh, the the thing that we're trying is a lime flavored instant drink concentrate with green tea extract. Mm. That's a mouthful. Put it that uh, concentrate of that. Yeah, fake. Everything's fake nowadays. Not just the straws. But you know. that thing lets you survive, and especially in a cold days, the hot drink is perfect. Especially when you are you have some. Uh, so uh, yeah, all medical uh, med medic personnel that uh, I met uh, said that it's always better to support that uh, that person with a cold drink rather than just uh, put him inside a hot room, you know, because uh, well, it's better to warm up from inside of you. Medic is better medical. Okay. You heard it first from a medic, combat medic. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not. The drink is, um, it's not too, too, too sweet. Like compared to the American ones and when we, uh, that we tried, American MREs, uh, this is actually not too sweet, but it's sweet enough for you to feel that boost, you know? You can taste the green tea, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I guess it also gives you a little bit of energy too, like green tea, uh, green tea would. And since you're trying that candy bar, yeah. Power bar, I'm gonna try one too. The smell. Hmm. Smell smell is like a wooden box. For me, it's like dried uh, fruits, you know. Like in old times when my grandma, uh, grandma made a, we had uh, apples and everything just dried out for a winter in a mm, yeah. te textile, text, textile uh, cloth bag and the, the, the smell was it, it, it oh, smells so nostalgic. <laughs> to me, it smells like something just old, like wood, for example, like a wooden box, for example, kind of has almost a similar smell. So it's not the hmm. most pleasing smell, but the taste is sweet. It is sweet. And it's probably also, I guess, energetic too, since you have like all kinds of fruits in here. Well, I should say that in a smart ass talk, in smart ass language, it would be like you smell a flora, just a flora smell, mm -hmm. in a moist, you know, <laughs> or it's a wood or or, or, or or vegetables. But I like the texture. Hmm? I like texture. Yeah, it's it's, it's like Whatever. it's not only compressed, but it's not too soft, so it doesn't go around when you're eating it. It's also not too hard to, for you to bite. Like it's perfect. I like it. And I like that it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's actually like perfect. I believe, in, I even believe that uh, such such bar will not uh, go uh, very hard in, in, uh, in minus temperature, you know? Like uh, snicker bars, when they will be kept uh, quite a long time in uh, minus temperature, they <laughs> they like a rock, you know? <laughs> they turn into and, a rock. And I, Yes, it wouldn't be the same with this bar because it's it's a different uh, different uh, ingredients in here, like more. So, mm. 
It's good. I felt when it's not very good feeling. When you're hungry, you have a sticker bar in minus 10 and it's hard to eat that and you still want to eat. <laughs> Crackers with some honey. Okay. What I noticed that... Uh, smells like honey. The honey is um, kind of hard. Mm. Like hard on the outside, but then like it's... Sugar is already... Um, crystallized? Crystallized, yeah. Yeah, so it, I guess it, it like technically it should be like, um, but it still can be uh, half a year extra or depending on the uh, date of expire. Yeah, can you show it to the camera a little bit? But yeah, yeah. as Scorpio said, we can see that uh, there's already a sugar crystallized here, which means that uh, honey is, is, is uh, not uh, fresh, fresh, yeah, and uh, there's. Not much time left for to eat that. Mm. Now that consume sweet. that. Now that is sweet. Oh well, yeah. Compared uh, to everything else. <laughs> but even, it's good. Even to, without a bite, I can say that uh, I can confirm you. Yeah. But it's good. Mm. Yeah. Usually I would put a. Um, that honey in a tea, you know, by the mm. Yeah, or that's also an option. A honey in your tea. Because it's without it the sugar. Throat. Because for some people, which um, uh, for those who like uh, some sugar in your tea or in a coffee, you can use a honey. It's more healthier, you know, more natural. And, and also, if you have a sore throat, you know, like if you're outside in the field, and you have a sore throat, it helps. Does hot it? beverage, yeah, hot beverage okay. with honey, it does help. That's what I always drink. That's why, what I and my wife drink. Okay. Okay, so that was actually not bad. So I think the last thing is, what? well, I mean, candies, gum, well, it's probably gonna be the same as everything, right? Fruity smell, very fruity smell. Yeah, smell is fruity smell. Right. Very fruity, fruity, fruity. Yeah. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, and it's also sour. What are the numbers here? Oh, what's that? Um, I guess that's on the apple. Oh my god, sour, and then it kind of turns into sweet. Hmm. Mm. It's actually not bad. I think I mean to kind of ananas. Yeah. Oh. This is. It's this is like. It's totally like a snack. With yeah, the, it's a snack. So, yeah, Otto, what do you put in my cupio? I will put in your cupio hydratonic, one of which was inside of one of the meals, and uh, let's try it uh, with uh, cold water because I'm not sure if hot water is 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 needed. It's a must, but oh, it's. Is that yeah it's it's uh, powder. powder just yeah. fine powder white powder yeah sounds suspicious yeah don't inhale that <laughs> concentrated isotonic drink that's what it is i don't know what that means um but i guess we'll find out mm. yeah it, it smells like uh, medicine in some way like vitamin c well maybe not medicine but vitamin c yeah, like that uh, drinks when you uh, have a flu, you know, and yeah, or a... or that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, um... like you said, medicine, yeah. But there was some kind of such kind of medicine for uh, flu, but in a, in a easy stage, you know, like a first it, stage. It, of the it, flu. it definitely it smells like Gripex or yeah. Terraflu, you know, whatever brand you guys have there. So it doesn't, I don't, I don't like that smell because I usually hate those um, cold medicine. Um, but it also, it, it, it just like, the, the smell is basic citrus. Yeah, the smell. Mm, good old days, not in school at home. <laughs> when you're sick, you know. Skip a school? Eh, not my, not my uh, cup of tea, I would say. It's okay, I guess, but... I'm not a big fan of these drinks. I, I would say that's the least favorite thing out of all of this for me. 
What about you? The same. Same. Yeah. So I really liked oh well I I really liked this power bar. Actually I'm gonna finish it, but I really liked it. Um I, I think the least favorite parts of this MRE would be crackers. A little bit too hard to chew. Uh, and this drink, isotonic drink. Everything else was actually very good. Like the main course was very good. Like even very the Tushonka cam. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was good actually. And um, it was only a meat, only meat. Without but what I liked about good, it, it yeah. wasn't too much, too much salt. It was like perfect combination. And then if it wasn't enough for you, like what he did, you can add some more. Yeah. You know. Um, so. I liked everything except for these two things that I mentioned. I mean, I'm not a military person, so I don't get to try out those too often. Uh, I wasn't. I didn't try it even. Also, even though you are in in yeah. the military, but it's actually really interesting to see you know what you're gonna get. It's almost like loot boxes in a way, I guess. Totally. And. Um, <laughs> The whole process of you know making it outside is also really cool. It makes you even more hungry, especially like this time. Like what I liked about the uh, Tushankas, for example, like when we try the Lithuanian MREs, American MREs, um, they don't really have Tushankas. So when you're preparing meal um, outside, it's just you know the the package, the 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 heating package is heating the food, and you can't really smell anything, so it doesn't really matter. But with this one, when you open up the tushanka and you start boiling it, you can smell the the you know you can smell the food and it makes you even more hungry, which is yeah. pretty. It cool. seems it smells like you have some kind of pan dishes and you're doing everything else. Yeah, it's like camping. It's <laughs> camping. basically like camping. Yeah, which is what what I liked a, a lot about it. Mm. But yeah, that's gonna be it for t for today, guys. Um, thank you for watching. To those who were watching. Um, I guess we'll see you guys next time when we do the, uh, you know, French or maybe even some other countries' uh, MREs. So stay tuned and we'll see you guys later. See you later.